everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you the Windows 10 Creators Update from Microsoft, and many of the new and interesting features that come with it. The Creators Update focuses on features that enhance the experience of people who love to create with Windows 10. You can update your device as soon as it appears in the Windows settings, or you could just wait until your device updates it itself. Either way, you can be confident that it won't cause your device to explode. With the Creators Update, you'll have several new options for scheduling the timing of when updates install. For example, you can specify exactly when you want the update to occur. What I'm running right now is believed to be the RTM build version, and has all the features and changes that you'll see when you get the update on your PC. If you're updating your PC from a previous version of Windows 10, you'll be greeted with some notifications here and there as you begin to use your PC. These have been placed to help you discover many of the new features that are being introduced with the Creators Update. Or, if you're installing Windows 10 for the first time, Cortana will now be there to help in a Clippy-esque fashion with voice dictation. According to an assertion I'm going to make, Clippy is now 20% cooler. Windows Settings is the center of configuration on your PC. That experience is now even more complete, with many changes and additions throughout. Immediately on the Settings homepage, you'll see two additional sections that have been added to the Settings app, Apps and Features, and Gaming. The point of a lot of these changes are to make the Settings app more complete and more organized. For instance, you'll find a new troubleshooting page with links to troubleshooters for any kind of issues you might be experiencing. The Apps and Features section is a great place to manage apps installed on your device, and pulls all the app-related settings that were previously found scattered all over the Settings app. This section also includes several new settings that were not previously present in Windows 10. One of these settings is to change what kinds of apps are allowed to install on your PC. You can configure your device so that only apps from the Windows Store are allowed to install, or if you wish, it can just warn you before installing them. There's also a new feature you can enable in the settings called Storage Sense. Like the description describes, Storage Sense automatically frees up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycle bin. I love laptops. Being able to bring my PC with me wherever I go throughout my day or house is just more comfortable to me than being tied to the same corner of my desk whenever I have to get some work done. I'm sure that many of you can agree that everything about the laptop's sleek and portable design allows for the most comfortable computing experience you can get, with just one exception, that blasted trackpad. Microsoft continues to push their precision trackpad standards to device manufacturers to ensure that Windows devices have the hardware capable of providing a comfortable, reliable, and ultimately more enjoyable experience for their customers. With these better trackpads becoming more widespread, the trackpad settings now have been promoted to their own dedicated section within the settings. You can, for instance, change the direction of two-finger scrolling gestures, apply four-finger gestures, and all sorts of other things. You can even set a gesture for a custom keyboard hotkey. Of course, given your device has a precision trackpad in the first place. Power users will definitely appreciate the new registry editor experience in the Creators Update. Navigating the registry is now less of an annoying scavenger hunt with the address bar finally making an appearance at the top of the window. Not only does this make it easy to tell where you are within the registry, but also allows you to copy and paste paths as needed. Windows 10 and the Universal Windows platform brought superb support for PCs with high DPI displays. The Creators Update is bringing much of this attention to DPI scaling to desktop apps with new compatibility toggles and high DPI support for more built-in Windows features, such as the Device Manager. In the display settings, you'll find a new feature being rolled out called Nightlight. Nightlight is like the Night Shift toggle in iOS and has the same purpose. Toggling it on and off in Action Center will give your display a warmer tone, with the intent of easing eye strain and sleep cycle damage when using your device at night or in the dark. The Start menu is often referred to as the center of the Windows experience. With each update of Windows 10, new personalization settings have been added to allow users to make the Start menu appear as they want it, reflecting their own interests, personality, and workflow. With the anniversary update last summer, the All Apps list was promoted to the whole left pane of the Start menu. 
However, with the Creators update, users can now choose to hide this list completely if they wish. This mini start menu puts more focus on the apps that you as a user care about most. In line with Windows 10 Mobile, you can also create folders on the start screen by dragging an app onto another app. Cortana is your very own personal assistant. With the Windows 10 Creators update, Cortana has been updated with many new voice commands, such as support for media playback controls and more apps, and enhanced support on the lock screen. Hey Cortana, lock my PC. Locking your computer. The Windows Inc. experience that was introduced as part of the anniversary update continues its evolution quite fittingly into the Creators update. One of the most important changes we have here is the ability to resume sketches from previous sessions. Say if you were to close the workspace accidentally. You'll be able to toggle between your current sketch and your previous sketch with a button up here in the toolbar. You might also notice that the entire toolbar has received a facelift, with some new icons and shading that will make it easier to navigate through the controls. To keep more in line with other platforms, the share icon in Windows is being updated from that old circle thingy to a new box arrow thing. This new share button will make it even easier to share your worker memories with a new share panel. It's updated and now looks quite nice with all the different apps that you can share that file with. An experience that was pretty much lost when Windows 10 was released, Windows themes are finally being brought back in a more complete experience than ever. You'll find the themes page in the personalization settings. On this page you can save your current theme, switch between saved themes, or download new themes from the Windows Store. Theme packs can save customized wallpapers, sounds, colors, or even mouse cursors. When Windows 10 was released, it had the most restricted choice of color options since Windows XP. Although now, the full spectrum of personalization is being unleashed with a new color picker panel that allows you to choose from a much broader range of colors to personalize your PC. With the ultimate goal of making Windows as easy to use for anyone despite their physical or linguistic differences, inclusivity continues to be a point of focus with Microsoft and Windows 10. The Windows Narrator has grown its own accessibility within Windows, bridging the gap between its users and the features that Windows 10 has to offer. Also, the Narrator now supports Braille, a feature that can be downloaded in the Ease of Access section of the settings under Narrator. Windows 10 supports over 111 different languages, all of which are specifically optimized to convey the Windows 10 UI properly to their respective speakers. Many non-English users of Windows 10 may notice many of the translations found throughout the OS have been updated. Windows 10 has been optimized for gaming right from its release. With features like the Windows Game Bar, it's easy to take screenshots and video recordings of your favorite games. Many games are best experienced in full screen mode, which is why the game bar has been extended to support an impressive list of new titles. With all these new features being brought to gaming, a whole new section in the settings app is being dedicated to it. With the iconic Xbox branding, this section contains all the settings relevant to gaming, including all the settings that were previously only accessible through the Xbox app. Down here in the gaming settings, you'll see one of the bigger features for gaming in this update of Windows 10, called Game Mode. Game Mode is a feature that, when enabled, will prioritize your game's performance over other apps and system processes, to help get the best and smoothest performance possible in that game. You can activate Game Mode in that game by opening the Windows Game Bar. With the Game Bar open here, you might also notice that there is a new button just to the right of Record. This new button opens up the Beam Streaming panel, a game streaming service purchased by Microsoft a short while back that will allow you to broadcast live streams to your Beam account, which can be watched online at Beam.pro. This also explains why the Game Bar is now a darker blue color, which matches Beam's branding. The default web browser in Windows 10, and Microsoft's claim at the most efficient browser for your desktop or phone, Edge has received quite the update with this release. Full-colored emoji support, for instance, and better compatibility with other browsers. As well as being able to import favorites, Edge now allows you to export favorites into HTLM files for importation in other browsers. In addition to this, of course, Edge has better support for importing favorites from other browsers in the settings panel. For the mercy of your PC's performance, Edge now blocks Flash content on web pages from running automatically. This helps keep your browsing experience snappier and more safe. If you'd like, you can always tell it to run this content by clicking the little Flash icon that'll appear in the address bar. 
Now, tab management. The bane of everyone's existence. The title bar has several new icons that are part of the new tab organization experience in Edge with the creator's update. The down arrow on the right will pull down all the little previews of the tabs that you have open to give you a better visual of what you're looking at. On the very left of the title bar, you'll find two extra icons. These are part of a new system called Setting Tabs Aside. The second button from the left here sets the tabs aside, so that all the tabs that you have open will be tucked away into this other section here on the left. Clicking on a Set Aside tab will load it back up again, or you could just restore all of them which will pile them all back onto your current session. Setting tabs aside is for situations where you might need to keep a set of tabs for something later, but want to have a separate clean tab experience for something else. Also, when Edge crashes or gets closed unexpectedly, it'll ask you next time you open it up if you want to just close out all the tabs instead of loading them back up again. Microsoft Edge is now your PC's eBook Central. Similar to how it displays PDF documents, eBooks in the .epub file format will now open in Microsoft Edge, in this new sort of uh, eBook management experience. In addition to this, there is also a dedicated section in the Edge Hub where books you purchase through the Windows Store will be listed. Yeah, and the store also has an eBook section now. To the great disappointment of Microsoft enthusiasts who are brave enough to rely on both a Windows Phone and PC, the much-beloved Messaging Everywhere feature was axed before it ever got to see the light of day in any post-preview release. Unfortunate as is, Microsoft has fulfilled its promise to get SMS message syncing integrated into the Skype service through Skype Preview on your PC or phone. By setting Skype as your default SMS app on your Windows 10 mobile device, you'll be able to send and receive your text messages to and from your Windows 10 PC. Windows 10 has best-in-class built-in protection for malware and viruses. The new Windows Defender experience will make it easier to manage your PC and family's safety with all the relevant settings for family protection, firewall, and virus protection. An interesting new feature that developers can now build into their apps in the Creators Update is a sort of picture-in-picture -picture mode, or as Microsoft calls it, Compact Overlay. This allows apps that have it, such as the Movies and TV app, to pop a video out into its own little compact overlay window. You can drag this window around all over the screen whenever you like, and it won't get in the way of any other tasks you may be doing. The Windows 10 Creators Update was guided in part by the feedback provided by Windows users and Windows insiders alike, all of which Microsoft is very thankful for. The Feedback Hub is the place where you, as a Windows user, can provide feedback about your thoughts and experience with Windows. The negative aura projected by blatantly hostile Windows insiders will at least be somewhat dampened in the Creators Update, with several changes to the feedback experience. Finally, the Creators Update can't be the Creators Update without a tribute to every digital creator's humble beginning, MS Paint. MS Paint has for the first time in a very long time been updated with a new shining button in the ribbon that you'll notice almost immediately. Open Paint 3D. Not to be confused with Open in Paint 3D, which by the way would be somewhat nice because that's usually what those buttons indicate. But anyways, Paint 3D is a new tank with MS Paint. Um, it is a completely new app bundled with Windows with all sorts of new features, most prominently 3D. Paint 3D can let your imagination go wild, with everything from material brushes, stickers, to custom 3D doodles. Go ahead and play around with it for a while. In the meantime, this has been an update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com to keep up to date with the latest in Windows 10 news and reviews. Thank you. Goodbye.